Residents in a South Minneapolis neighborhood are asking city leaders for help in dealing with a growing homeless encampment. This is drone video that a neighbor shared with us of the dozens of nylon tents that sit on a city owned lot. This is the 15th camp to pop up in the Midtown Phillips neighborhood in just the last year and a half. Neighbors and business owners told WCCO's Reg Chapman they're tired of living next to what they call chaos. For the past six weeks, it has been nonstop chaos for people who live close to this homeless encampment that sits near 29th Street and 14th Avenue South. You know, hooking up their cell phones to electricity, using people's water, not turning off the water when they're done. Uh, we've had break-ins. This neighbor says people who speak out about the encampment are retaliated against, so she does not want her face on television, but she wants people to hear what goes on along the city block. Just people loitering in people's yards, uh, constant, constant traffic, constant trash, people using the bathrooms in my garden. Concerned neighbors did meet with city and county officials about the issue back in March of this year. 105 people attended. So far, residents say none of the priorities from that meeting have been accomplished. Last five weeks, really, we're going tough time. Muhammad Kali manages the Medina Mall. It sits directly across the street from the encampment. That, uh, uh, situation create a lot of people not generating good income. Some of its 50 small businesses that make up the Medina Mall have closed and people have stopped coming because they fear for their safety. Really, we're struggling uh, for, to do business, and this is where we do business, that we, we live. At the other side is the biggest mosque we have in uh, South Minneapolis. Really, we have a big challenge. A challenge to find housing for the people living in this tent city and relief for those who live and work nearby. We don't know what the solution is. We feel bad for the people. Um, you know, a lot of them are young, a lot of them are girls. In Minneapolis, Rich Chapman, WCCO 4 News. The city of Minneapolis responded to our request for an interview with a statement that reads, the city does not provide direct service but connects receptive people to available services and resources via other programs and partner organizations that offer them. The city-owned site is slated for development. Ten units of housing will serve households at 60% of area median, median income. And we don't yet know what will happen to those living on the lot now.